In today's episode, we're gonna be throwing a spotlight on our contamination remover, Iron Out. Whilst Iron Out is commonly used as a wheel cleaner, its intended purpose wasn't actually as a wheel cleaner. It's intended to be used to remove ferrous contamination from the paintwork of vehicles. Ferrous metal contamination is the sharpest type of contamination commonly found on vehicles. So it's wise to remove something to dissolve them before claying. If you go ahead and clay a vehicle that's got this type of contamination, it's quite often the main cause of paintwork marring at the clay bar stage. So when would you use iron out? You use iron out at the wash stage, after you've completed the pre-wash, snow foam and two bucket wash stage. Once you've rinsed the vehicle free of soap, you would then spray iron out over the entire vehicle. It's safe to use on all surfaces, so you don't need to worry about getting it on trim, glass, paintwork, wheels or rubber. It's totally safe. So with iron out now applied to the vehicle, you would wait and watch it take effect. You'll actually see the contamination bleeding, more so on a white or light colour than you would a black, but you'll definitely be able to see it working. The effects will be more prominent on sides and lowers near where wheels have kicked up brake dust, on upper panels if they're parked in industrial areas or near train lines, and on the back of vehicles that are diesel powered. Iron out's particularly good at removing in-ground soot from diesel vehicles. On a vehicle suffering from excess contamination, you might need to repeat the application one or two times. You can also use a foam applicator or microfiber block to lightly agitate to keep the product working and get all the contamination off of the vehicle. With Iron Out now done its thing on the contamination bonded to the vehicle, it's time to rinse. Rinse the vehicle top to bottom as you would if you were washing the car, and then it's good practice to wash the vehicle once again, just lightly, to make sure all remaining residue is removed from the car. So with that stage completed, you can now move on to clay in your vehicle. The reason that you carry out the iron out process is to remove the sharpest type of contaminants and not pick them up on a clay bar and drag them around the paint. Going back to what we said at the beginning about iron out not being intended as a wheel cleaner, it does actually double up incredibly well as a deep cleaner for wheels. However, we wouldn't recommend the use as a regular wheel cleaner. Our Imperial wheel cleaner will take care of the sort of day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week washing, but Iron Out does work well when you need to get a more intensive clean on wheels. If you're suffering some pitting in the corners of spokes, you've done heavy motorway mileage, and you're finding that there's a bit of build-up that you're not removing with your normal regular wheel cleaner, use Iron Out as a one-off treatment to deep clean the wheels, reseal them after, and then you're good to go for months of just regular wheel cleaning. We've got a couple of top tips when using iron out as a wheel cleaner. There's a few things to avoid contact with. We don't advise you getting it on the brake bell housings or the calipers too much. If you can avoid these areas, do. Because iron out will actually increase how quickly they turn rusty and go white and not looking very nice like these ones currently are. This is just one of our staff cars and a bit of a beater for them to get to and from work, so they're not too fussed on this. But if it was a show vehicle, we'd probably recommend taking the wheels off before treating them with iron out, if you want to prolong how long these areas look good for. When applying it, try spraying downwards or across the wheel face like this, as opposed to straight on. That will avoid it going on these surfaces. So you can see iron out going to work pretty quickly on all the contamination that's on these wheels. It's mainly brake dust and that does react really well with these types of products. Hence why a lot of people use it as a wheel deep cleaner. But like we say, don't use it every time you clean your wheels. It's simply not necessary. We'll now go ahead and jet wash this off. We'll then come in again, and brush it in to get around the backs of the spokes, the back of the spokes, in these lug nut holes and everywhere else. And then we'll have an absolutely clean wheel.
So that's the correct method of using iron out. Now we're ready to go ahead and do tar removal on the lower of the vehicle if necessary, and then clay the paintwork. A couple of top tips when using iron out are things such as the agitating with a foam block or microfiber applicator. Dwell times are another thing that we get a lot of questions about. Realistically, by the time you get around applying it to the vehicle, it's done its job and ready to come back off. We apply to the whole car, agitated, then went round and rinsed off. We have applied it once more to check that everything's been removed and we didn't get any more bleeding. So we're satisfied this car has no bonded ferrous metal contaminants now and we can move on to the next stage.